back to the vlog. Today is Saturday, March 2nd. Happy March. I love the month of March. I feel like the month of the months of January and February are just like they're okay because I live in Florida and I don't have to deal with like the dreadfulness of the winter. But they're still just like not exciting months, at least for me. Like I don't have there's nothing going on for me. <laughs> In those months we have done some traveling which has been fun but i don't know i like i like the springtime so i figured we could do a little weekend vlog today i wish that i would have started vlogging yesterday but i just i just didn't um because i am off it's my long weekend this weekend so i'm off friday through monday and yesterday i spent the day getting my nails done you guys i like kind of hate my nails <laughs> I was freaking out in the nail salon because I didn't know what I was gonna get. We go to Mexico a week from today and I wanted to do something fun, um, but I didn't wanna sit there for forever. So I really was thinking to do blue nails, but maybe get some like French tips and then maybe do um, like one nail with like little dot flowers, but he did, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. There we go. He did these types of flowers and they're just okay. My, I love my nail guy. He's so good, but he does take creative liberty. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, I also got a facial yesterday, went to the gym. We had dinner with friends for a birthday. So yesterday was a good day. Our house, they cleaned our house yesterday, our house cleaners. So our house is clean. And now, if I didn't already say it, I'm getting ready for yoga. I missed my hot yoga class last week and I love going to hot yoga. Brief intermission while I brush my teeth. Ran back. Just doing a little bit of skincare. I'm also going to get my hair done. Not tomorrow. Monday. It's just got like you know you guys, I always talk about like, I feel like you can't even see it on camera, but like the red that gets in it. So I'm just getting a haircut and color, um, not a color, a gloss. So that should be easy. I'm actually going to somebody new um, and I feel like I'm cheating on my hair salon, but my, so basically when we moved to Tampa, I went to the hair salon and I, found this girl that I really liked and I stuck with her. She opened her own salon in St. Pete and I moved up, not moved, I don't live in St. Pete, but I started going there and you guys, it's just too far away. Like every time I get my hair done just to go to St. Pete. So I'm trying somebody new and you know, I might regret it, but I feel like getting a hair gloss over, like get it is not that big of a deal. And a haircut, like I'm not, I'm not crazy about for lack of a better term i'm not crazy about getting my hair cut like you can take five inches off and i'll be i'll be okay <laughs> i'll survive but i do want to get like a lot of layers and kind of like a 90s cut maybe get some curtain bangs switch it up that way so i don't know we shall see but i'll take you guys with you with me we're going to a lightning game tonight so it should be a fun weekend this is the oh. <laughs> give me a funny boat it's the outfit for yogi this is from um, Set Active and it's in their um, form cloud, which I'm obsessed with. I'm literally a sweat bucket. I feel like you probably cannot tell <laughs> in this outfit. Um, thank God, because it's dark, but that class was so good. Like it wasn't crazy hard. I felt super energized, but I was sweating because it was hot. And that's when I like yoga. Like I don't like any workout to feel impossible because I'm not having a good time <laughs> if it feels impossible. Um, but it like felt so good. So I'm actually just waiting for Seth to come pick me up from our house really quick. I'm not going to go inside and like get the dogs excited that I'm home because we're going to run out and get acai bowls. And, um, then I think we're going to go to, there is a outlet mall close to us that I think we're going to go to because Seth wants a new lightning hat. I personally hate the outlet mall that is close to us. Yeah. It's just like. I don't know it's not a good outlet mall and I feel like 
outlets, this is something that needs to be discussed. Outlets used to be like the best thing ever when I was a kid. Now, all the outlets suck. Like I hate the outlet malls. Like you used to be able to go to the outlet mall and get like a bunch of good stuff for really cheap. And now you go to the outlet mall and there's like kids stores there. Like, I don't know. I don't like the outlet mall, so. Anyway. Okay, just got back from getting some acai bowls. And I'm actually going to sit down and edit this week's vlog because, fun fact, I use my husband's computer because my computer is like out of storage and I have to freaking fix it, but I haven't yet. And he is going out of town tomorrow, so I need to edit the vlog. This is the setup. This is the company. It's going to get like a little bit of sun while I do it because it's really nice outside today. Good morning, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys could hear like the birds chirping. It's such a beautiful day this morning. Gorgeous. The sun is shining. I've got my coffee. The boys are wanting to play some ball. <laughs> So Seth left early this morning to go to DC. So I think, I don't know what time he was up, but I just got up to tell him goodbye and then went back to sleep until almost nine o'clock. Um, and then woke up, made myself coffee. I think I'm gonna go to the Indy Flea today, which is a little flea market that happens in, happens in St. Pete and in Tampa, but they alter, like, they alternate different days of the month and I, I don't know if the St. Pete one is better than the Tampa one, but I feel like the Tampa one doesn't happen very often. And so I was texting my friend and she's like, oh, it happens next week and we're going to Mexico next week, so I won't be here. So I think I'm gonna go to the Indy Fleet today with a friend, I need to do laundry, but yeah, I still have one more day off, so I'm just enjoying like this four day off stretch. And I'm sorry if you can hear this guy in the back. Hmm. This guy who got kicked out of daycare. <laughs> he got kicked out of daycare like last week because he bit another dog. Yep, that's my life. Okay. Hey Siri, turn music off. It's time to do laundry. I literally do laundry every Sunday of my life and I don't do it any other time. Like, I'm not the type of girl you're gonna catch doing laundry in the middle of the week. Um, Something just doesn't get compute for me there. But um, Seth and I obviously usually do laundry together. We're gonna put the ball away for a second at camp, okay? Because of Sam Camp's OCD tendencies, like we can't have balls laying out. <laughs> Which is just so crazy to think about, but and to say out loud. But anyway, Seth and I usually do laundry together, but he did a load yesterday because he was leaving today. So I only have mine to do. I need to eat breakfast. I need to empty this. So I love these little like Silk Greek yogurts. Um, they're made with coconut milk. It's the flavor of vanilla, um, but they have 10 grams of protein and they don't have a bunch of sugar in them. They only have nine grams of sugar, 11 grams of fat. Um, so these are the ones that I always buy. I know that eating Greek yogurt, obviously you're going to get um, a higher protein concentration and less fat less sugar but i don't eat yogurt eat greek yogurt so this is a really good alternative and typically i will just top it with fruit and a little bit of granola this is my favorite one from trader joe's um i only have frozen blueberries right now it's grocery shopping day and i do not i don't really like frozen blueberries my husband loves to like snack on them but my teeth are really sensitive, but that's all I have, so we're gonna make do. That's it. Easiest breakfast ever. Okay guys, this is the outfit for today. I just filmed a TikTok, that's why that's there. The, I feel like, can you see it? There we go. I just feel like something in my room, like the lighting is so off. I don't know what it is, but anyway, 
The shirt is from Abercrombie. It's just like one of the soft and easy tanks. Pants are from Set Active. If you can see, they're the easy pant from Set Active. They're super loose and flowy. I just have my on clouds on. I only carry one purse. I have purse. <laughs> this is my husband's hat. Best place to shop for hats is your husband's closet. And we're good to go. Okay, I am back from all of my endeavors this afternoon. I ended up going to the flea market and then stopped by the mall because I wanted to go to um, Aritzia really quickly. And I guess I'll show you guys now. I got a new hat. That's all I got. I'm kind of proud of myself for this being the only thing that I got, but I just thought it was super cute. It was like 30 bucks, so we got that. I think it goes really well with this fit, but. Anyway, this is the Trader Joe's haul. I got some vegetable broth, pita crackers, red onion, jalapeno, a shallot. I got some berries. These are like jumbo blueberries. They look really good. Um, green pepper, bread. I got some eggs again for the dogs cilantro some mini flour tortillas two things of tofu some cherry tomatoes black beans a can of corn nutritional yeast red wine vinegar oat milk one thing of impossible burger some honey some of this like vegan garlic and herb thing and then some heavy whipping cream and that's literally it for my meals this week i am going to be making um a vegan yoki which i've been meaning to make for the last couple of weeks so i'm gonna make that i'm also going to make um some cowboy caviar there was one other thing on my list <laughs> i can't remember what it was wherever my phone is let me see orzo um like a sun-dried tomato orzo so i really didn't need that much ingredients which is great but i'm gonna put them away and then i think we're going to go to the park with the dogs all right dinner tonight is uh, um let's see if i can show you guys a picture without literally going to the top of the page this vegan chickpea gnocchi soup i don't think i'm gonna add the chickpeas to it because i just don't think that sounds good to me but we are going to make this recipe so i've just cut up all of my vegetables and we're gonna throw them in a pot okay this is the final gnocchi soup it's pretty good not amazing but pretty good Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Um, it is like 8.30 in the morning. I woke up probably like 40 minutes ago um, and just kind of laid in bed, hung out. I made myself um, another batch of coffee. I've been really liking this coffee in the morning and Seth is out of town. Um, I'm not sure if I said that. He is in DC on a school trip. He'll be gone until Thursday and then he comes back on Thursday night his year friday and then we leave on saturday for mexico so he has got a busy few days but seth doesn't really love this type of coffee so when he is away i tend to make it more because it's like i don't know if you're married you get it you just like adapt to your partner but anyway the plan for today is i'm getting my eyebrows laminated at 9 30 this morning and the place is like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from me. So I'll probably leave at like 9, 10, leaving like a half an hour. Um, and then I'm gonna come back home, pick up some stuff. I did laundry yesterday, but I haven't put it, put it away yet. So we're gonna pick up that stuff, spend some time with the dogs, and then I'm getting my hair done at 11.30. I am going to get a tone, which I feel like I try to show you guys this all the time. Maybe you can see it in this clip. The Basically, I like highlighted my hair for years and the highlighted parts on the end come through a little bit as red. So I tone my hair at home probably like once a month, but the last time I got it toned and like a cut was in October. So I'm desperately overdue for that. I also wanna get a cut. I like to get a bunch of layers. I like to get face framing pieces. I'm thinking about asking her to give me like some curtain bangs. I just like to have movement and maybe cut like a good couple or I don't know, that's probably like an inch and a half, two inches off of my hair. I don't know. I really love that like 90s hairstyle with just like a bunch of movement and layers. I like, I feel like that 
would make my hair look thicker because my hair is thin but i have a lot of hair so i have a lot of strands of hair so i feel like when it gets long it does tend to look thinner so i don't know we'll talk to her about it like i said i've never gone to this lady before so i'm excited for a new hairdresser i think i'm gonna try like a new coffee shop in tampa i went grocery shopping yesterday as you guys saw so i don't have to do that and then i'm taking a yoga class this evening at 5 30 so should be a good day um my last day off before i work tuesday through friday this week so yeah we're gonna have a good day all right you guys this is the outfit i just have a feeling that let me put you guys somewhere else these like easy fit pants are literally going to be my entire personality from set active i feel like okay hold on hold on i'm short queen anyway these are them um and then this is the shirt that i got from the flea market yesterday i have one of these shirts in green and then this one is in red it just says florida it's super cute i love it i have got my lululemon gift cards um one my mother-in-law gave me for my birthday i mean yeah but I, I hadn't seen her in a while so like i think she gave it to me like at christmas time so i need to use it and then another one a sweet student gave me um we have a lot of np students in my practice and they see that i usually go to the gym during lunch and she wrote me a little note and she was like for your next workout i don't know it was super cute and she was so sweet and she's gonna be a great nurse practitioner so um i'm gonna go get my hair done this is the before i have it like slicked back whatever um but yeah i'm hoping for a good result and then i think i'm gonna go to lululemon afterwards and then we'll be back home and just play with the dogs a little bit. So to kind of wear them out, I'm excited. Made a pit stop to Caffeine Roasters, which is in downtown Tampa. Made it to the hair salon. I have two minutes to spare. I'm just gonna try this coffee really quick. Not bad. This was almost $8, $7.79. That's insane. And it's not, I mean, like it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not that good. <laughs> love it i love being like this dark i don't know just something about it makes me feel empowered <laughs> so let me show you guys close up it looks so good i'm just heating up some soup and then like a little bit of tofu to put in the soup um but anyway i did I always ask for a dark chocolate brown gloss and then i have some pictures that i reference on pinterest um, a bunch of long layers and then curtain bangs but that curtain bangs that don't start until like my cheekbone which my cheekbones are kind of high so you can like see the curtain bang let's see I guess it kind of starts at my upper lip maybe I should have gone a little bit shorter but anyway that's what I asked for actually when she did it the first time it was not it was not dark chocolate it was very much like like a light brown not even like a light brown it just wasn't this dark and as i told you guys earlier like the color just fades she was matching it to my roots and she did a great job of matching it to my roots because my natural hair is not quite this dark my natural hair is definitely a little bit lighter um but i like it like this dark and chocolatey without and i don't like to dye it so anyway she put that tone in let it sit she did my haircut first put the tone in let it sit brought me back and then blow dried a little bit of it and she was like okay like what do you think of the color and i was like oh i hate to be this person but it's like it's too light i just feel like it's gonna fade super easily and she was so kind and she was like okay well let's go darker um and she put another toner in, let it sit for 10 minutes and then brought me back and it, it was perfect but I went to Maddie at Gilded Salon. She was really good, super sweet. Um, and the mess up was like my fault essentially because she was asking about the color and then I showed her colors on Pinterest and she was like, do you want me to match it to your roots? And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. Um, and she 100% matched it to my roots. I just, I guess I wanted it to be darker because I felt like the color that came up like on the bottom half was going to fade to that like brassy kind of red that I don't like. Um, so anyway did that and then i stopped by lululemon because i told you guys i had gift cards and i picked up a very cute little set in what color 
color is this? I don't know. It doesn't say the color. I don't know. But anyway, I got it. This little, what is this? A scooped v-neck bra. I got this in a size two. Lululemon sizing is so strange to me. And then I picked up like the shorty shorts, I think these are called. No, they're Lululemon Align HR short four. Um, they're very short, but I really like them because I don't really have a lot of like, they remind me of spandex that I used to wear like when I played volleyball in high school. So anyway, I got that. I think it's super cute with like the color. We're just gonna eat a little bit of lunch, relax, and then we're going to yoga. This is the um, set that I got from Lululemon. I feel so weird like being out and about with my legs out. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because it's, I like do not have a tan and it's like the beginning of March, but anyway, I really love the color. The color is super cute. I like, so um, I'm gonna wear it to yoga tonight, which starts in like 45 minutes. So I'm actually just gonna empty my dishwasher and then head over there. Giving Camper his Prozac, pro tip. He literally just put the Prozac in these chicken meatballs that we buy. Hoosier gets one. Oh my God. <laughs> And Stinker gets one. <laughs> I just got back from my workout. You guys, it was hard. It was really hard. It's like almost seven o'clock. I think for dinner, I'm gonna make cowboy caviar because that sounds really good and it'll be simple. Um, and then I just put like to put it into like taco shells, but I'm not thinking that I want to. I feel like I wanna shower and like do that before we get into it, but I will show you guys the dinner. I already took a bite out of this, but I ended up just making um, some leftover vegan taquitos that I had made, like I had made the filling last week. So I just threw those in some corn tortillas, fried them up on the stove, topped them with a little bit of cilantro, um, cherry tomatoes, vegan nacho cheese, and salsa.